displacement time, velocity time graph, or body is at rest. So when the body is at rest, its position does not change, and therefore this graph is a horizontal graph. And since it is at rest, the velocity is zero. So this is a graph representing a zero velocity of that body. Okay. Remember, in any time you draw a graph, you have to write uh, what physical quantity it represents and the unit of that. Then the body is having uniform motion. Uh, the displacement and the velocity time graph looks like this. Okay. Uh, so this is a straight line that means the velocity is constant. So just to uh, tell you that if it is a velocity and time graph, and if this is a velocity, so a and b, so velocity of b is greater than velocity of a. Now the same way, uh, if you talk about uh, the displacement and time graph, so this is how it will be. Okay. So if you talk about this displacement. so you can see that b took less time uh, and a took more time because a was traveling slower so this is about the displacement and time, uh, time graph for body having uniform motion and then you have body with uniform acceleration and uniform acceleration that means the velocity is increasing with time so you can see that as time increases the velocity is increasing and therefore the dis distance covered in unit time is not the same uh, so here in this time interval the distance covered is less and in this time interval the distance covered will be more so that that indicates a body which has uniform acceleration okay uh, does anyone have any questions uh, with re with respect to graph you can ask them right now so uh, yeah So, how do you find acceleration in a distance uh, time graph? Now, in a displace uh, displacement time graph, if the graph is a curved line, okay, this is a displacement and time graph, and this is a curved line. Now, this indicates that it is accelerating. Okay. Now, at any point, you draw a tangent and you find a slope. That slope is going to give you velocity. okay so you you can find but it is not in your portion uh, so what you just have to say that if the displacement time graph is a curved line that that indicates acceleration but if the displacement time graph is a line like this that means it is uniform velocity that means the acceleration is zero if the displacement time graph is this the body is at rest the body is not moving so acceleration is zero okay now in this case uh, when the body is having a curved line so say for example you draw a tangent over here and you another you draw a tangent here and you find the velocities at two different points as v and u and this is t1 and t2 then obviously you can find the velocity this way but this will be done only in the 11th standard and not right now okay any other questions fine so we move ahead uh, now before we move to the numericals these are some formulas that we will be using and some rules so the slope of the displacement time graph will give us the velocity uh, so if this is a displacement and time graph and if you want to find velocity so you need two points over here x1 y1 and x2 y2 and velocity will be difference of y upon difference of x so that will give you the velocity and if it is a velocity time graph the slope will give you acceleration so again uh, for a velocity time graph so this will be a meter per second and this is time over here and if you take two points uh, x1 y1 x2 y2 then again acceleration will be y2 minus y1 upon x2 minus x1 
I hope you all know that the horizontal is the x axis and the vertical is the y axis. Okay, also the area under this graph will give you displacement. So for a velocity time graph, if you find this area, okay, now this is of course a shape of a triangle. So if you do half into base into height, that will give you the area and that will give you the velocity uh, displacement. Okay, now here you have uh, V is equal to U plus AT. So this is the first equation of motion. We have the derivation of this. Uh, the next is S is equal to UT plus half AT squared. And the third is V square is equal to U square plus 2AS. So these are the three uh, equations. And just to tell you students that depending upon uh, what information is given and what you have to find, you have to decide which equation that you have to use. Okay, so they give you U, they give you V, they give you A, and now you have to find time. So obviously the first equation is the best equation. So depending upon what information is provided, you should be able to pick up the uh, equations. Okay, now if it, gravity is taken into consideration, then body which is having a free fall, that means uh, say this is ground and this is a body that is coming down. So it is going to fall down. Obviously gravity will always act downward. So this body will have initial velocity u over here and when it is about to reach ground, this will be the final velocity. and this distance covered will be termed as a height. Now, if you notice, everything is in the same direction and that is down. So there is no, there is no need to consider sine over here. Every equation is normal. Only thing is that uh, wherever we used to write S, which is displacement, is now H. And wherever we used to write acceleration, now we have acceleration due to gravity. Okay, now moving ahead, we have a body thrown upward. So we have ground and this is a body. Now this body is thrown upward. Okay, so it will have initial velocity and then when it reaches a height, it will have final velocity. Now if this is the maximum height that the body has reached, so at the maximum height, uh, the final velocity is zero uh, because it can't go any further. Okay, so that is something that you need to understand that you throw a ball up and the maximum height that the ball attains is when the height is, uh, sorry, when the final velocity is zero. Now here, if you notice, uh, acceleration due to gravity is downward. Rest, everything is pointing up. So we consider this to be negative, okay, everything else as positive. So you can see that here there is a plus gt and now the, the, it has become minus. So all these three equations remain the same. Only thing is that acceleration due to gravity is considered to be negative, okay, because of the acceleration, the velocity of the body goes on reducing as it goes up. 